Do I got the glow? You got a little glow. I like it. Mm-hmm. 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 I don't know what's happening recently, but I think I got the glow. Yeah. I see my facial features coming up. Yeah. Well, 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 well. You want to start, you wanna start with a... I just shaved. Why? But I mean, it's growing. Like, I see more pores. I'm not 15, dude. No, I know, but it's finally growing. You're <laughs> finally becoming a man. Some people are late. We're not doing a question. Some people... <laughs> okay, that's We fine. ain't starting with a question. Hey, that's fine. We ain't starting with nothing. <laughs> you already know, bro. We've been around, man. What? What does that mean? <laughs> What you know that? exactly what's been going on, man. <laughs> it's been great. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, God. We got sponsors we got to get to. We got we to gotta do our podcast, man. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like you won. Let me hit him with the fade out. Oh. That was kind of tough, dude. That was kind of tough. Welcome, Welcome back. back. Welcome home. Welcome home. You are here podcast. Episode 276. Boom. And 276. It's the end of the six. Let's be real. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Now, Dave, I want to... We got sponsors. Okay, let's get, let's do the sponsors okay. real quick. Uh, <laughs> O'Hagan Career Coaching. O'Hagan Career Coaching. Yeah. You have a job interview coming up. You don't know what to do. Mm. We got the guy for you. We got Coach O. He's on the line. He's ready to speak to you at O'HaganCareerCoaching.com. He's going to coach you up. Yes. He's going to get you ready. He's going to get your heart in the game. For the he's big gonna, day. He's going to drop the plays, man. You, for that interview, for whatever job you're going to get into next. I don't even know the success rate, but I know it's big time. It's I know big. he's posting a lot of successes. You know so. why? Because he's got 35 years of experience. Come on, he's man. He's been in the game. He's been doing it. Tell them. He's been talking to people. He's got different... He's he's passing on the knowledge now because mm-hmm. he's been doing it. Mm-hmm. He's got different plans for you. He's got a gold plan, silver plan, one-on-one. Um, the stuff he gets into, he does mock interviews. He goes through the real questions. It's like a sport. This mm-hmm. is why we call him coach because mm-hmm. it's treated like a sport, man. You need to know. You got to have the right place because there's there's little pitfalls. There's things you're going to fall into. There's You want to make the right choices, you know? Absolutely. And he's going to do that for you. Coach O at OhaganCareerCoaching.com. Get on there. Boom. Shout out Anytown Actors Lab. Dude, if you're trying to learn how to act, I'm only telling me tell you. It's getting dark, man. You see this? What is that? Oh, you're loading up? You see these two these two shooters? I see those. I see those. You, you know why I got these in my belt? Uh-huh. Because like, Texas. Did it. No, I did Because you went to Texas once. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is an ad. No, this is an ad, man. Take this serious. <laughs> now, I got these these six shooters in my holsters, man. They're they're loaded and they're ready because... And I, what do you put those in? In my holsters, In man. a belt. In a belt. You need that tool belt, right? You need that holster. Listen, the metaphor isn't working, but you need to go to anytownactorslab.com. Adam Louder at anytownactorslab.com. He's the best acting teacher you're ever going to run into. That's doing it right now. He's doing it. In Texas, Dallas Fort Worth area. If you're in person, you could get in person with him. Uh, if you're in the Dallas Fort Worth area, if you're not, he's still doing online one on ones. And I'm telling you, I am using my voice to express you. You, I can't send you anywhere else. Yeah, that's the spot. You want to learn how to act? You want to do it truthfully under imaginary circumstances, like you watch your favorites do it or have yeah. done it in the past. That's the place. Yeah. Anytownactorslive.com. Hit him up. Get in touch with him. Go watch the TikToks first. Go watch the YouTube videos first. For free. For free before you make a decision. And I, and I know you're going to want to. Anytownactorslive.com. Go learn how to act, man. Um, shout out to the patrons, man. It's our last thing. Love you guys. If you want to support us, you want to throw us something, just a little bit of coffee. Dude, we appreciate it. It helps us out. We're going to put it back in. We have big plans. Mm-hmm. And we want to keep growing this thing. So it's the best yep. way to support uh, patreon.com slash you her podcast boom and if you guys want if there's anyone out there who, who is looking to be sponsored by the or have us sponsor them on the show reach out to us a little shout out on our website it's also a way to support yeah you know perfect way to support if you got a small we go business lo- we or love local business. man that's right if you're local sometimes reach out to the boys years. reach out to the boys yeah, we'll, show, we'll show up we'll do a video we'll try our stuff we'll eat you your know? food we'll buy, wear your clothes maybe yeah I'll do it. Michael wears some cheeky things. Yeah, yeah. Your boy, I'm slimming down, so you know I could fit into I those know, things. I know. And you're handsome. And you got the facial hairs coming in under, you know what? under there now. Now it's good. We're both just handsome as hell. <laughs> this is where we start climbing. This is where we climb. Yeah. 
This is where I take over with you okay. on, on the sidecar. I saw a dog in a sidecar with a guy on a bike. I said, that's us. <laughs> that's right. No, no, yeah. and that was, I was, no, 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 no. For sure. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. I got you. That was a joke. But in reality, I think we're, I think we're, I don't know how, but I think I caught the glow. Really? Explain while, that. While that I was mean? at work, right? Oh. Normal day, just like any other day. Well, I got to explain to the people, you know, our patrons and everyone. Yeah, yeah go, go ahead. Go ahead. So I was just at where I was doing my thing. I wasn't really paying attention to much. And, you know, some young woman came up to the counter. Not too young, remember. This isn't, we're not doing this. this no, Drizzy? No. I'm, that's a big claim. We'll get into it. You know, mid 20s, I'll, I'll claim that. But uh, yeah, I'm just doing my thing. And she, you know, she comes to the counter. I'm helping her out, I'm helping her with her order. I'm, and, you know, said a, some, a joke or something. Walks away. She comes back into the. She gave into, a double take. She said, "Right, she left. She made a decision." Yeah, she was with a friend. She left, and I guess she came back in. And I, I was mm. like, "Oh, hey, how's it going?" And she says, and she's all red. She's all like flush, right? And I was like, "What's up? How's it going?" And she's like, "Hey, can I ask you a question?" And she's all beat red, and cheeks all tight. She's all nervous. And I was like, "What's going on?" She goes, "Are you single?" And I was like, "Boy, still got it." Yeah. Are you surprised at that? Boy, still got it. And then I had to do this. I said, no, you know, sorry. Oh, I like that. I said, I'm flattered. That's a dope. I said, ha, ha, ha. I'm flattered. (laughs) But I'm married already. And I said, I said, you know, that's very kind of you to say that. But I'm married already. I'm flattered. But but, but no, thank you. Mm. And I didn't say no. I just said, you know, Mm. I'm married. And um, happily. And she she goes, okay. (laughs) It just turned around and left, and it was like yeah. a very cordial. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Nice to meet you. That must feel so good. <laughs> and you like how I say that because that that's never happens happened. To me. That it no, never happens. Don't to me. say that. It never happens. To me. No, it happens to you. No. Yes, it does. Anywho, yeah, we, we got the glow now. I'm not gonna say it. We got the glow now. I love it, dude. I've always said it. You're just a handsome guy. But Everyone why, said that. But why don't I feel that way? Because you're story. telling yourself that. Right? Do, do you tell yourself you're a handsome guy? I say I I can do self stuff. <laughs> like you you when you look at yourself I don't like, feel oh, terrible. I'm pretty handsome. I don't feel terrible. Yeah, you know. No, that's beautiful. I like saying like, dude, if you put in that work, you could oh, be like crazy. You could be better than It could be crazy. Better than Yeah. And that's where I'm trying to go. That's yeah. my motivation. Yeah. <laughs> I hope not. not. It's not. It's not. It's not. I like to say like... You got to remember who loves you before you get all fit and everything. Yeah. Because I feel like you're going to switch up. You think? Yeah. Because everyone's going to be your friend. Everyone's going to want to do a podcast with you. No, no, Everyone's going to want to... And you're going to be like, Dave, I can't... You know what truthfully what's going to happen? I can't do this anymore. You know what truthfully is going to happen? What? I'm going to be right here. Doing the podcast. But what about your new girlfriend when she's like, um, we need to eat dinner. And I'm like, but, it's, uh, hey, but I'm like, I would never the, find a person like that. But I'm like this on the door. I would never be a person. And, like, and you know that because it's already ha- it's already been options, and I'm yeah, you know that's true. It's not happening. You have shown your true colors. <laughs> You're not like so those bad. people, right? That like that like switch up. I mean, I've done it before in the past. I'm not gonna say I'm like this. You know, I'm great, killing it. Like I'm great. Obviously, you know, think there's problems. You know, there's always just truthfully. Yeah, you know, yeah, I, yeah, I want to be honest. Truthfully, truthfully. Not, I'm not perfect in relationships, you know? Yeah. So. But you've learned from them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's the hope. Yeah. Yeah, man. That's also like a fear I think I have is like, if I do get into something, is that going to, I'm going to mess it up again or mess mm-hmm. things up again or mm-hmm. not? Like, did, did I grow? Because you can't know unless you, you go through it. Yeah. You know? How did you And grow? that's a scary thing to like, now it's like, oh, I got to commit to something. How did you grow, you think, from your p- previous relationships? I think you have, it's tough because like, I, I haven't done anything else. Yeah, that's true. You know? So how you I guess I you mean from the little things like the little, you know, flings and dates, dating a little bit and yep, yep. you know, there's always like I feel like a problem that comes up. Mm-hmm. So it feels like I'm not like fully growing into something. I think you can't really grow that much unless you like get back and try a, something a again. Real thing in a real yeah, thing. try something again. Yeah. So I I don't know. Really. Do you think you've opened up fully to another person since your last relationship in that way? Like fully, like I trust you. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. No. Either. From the no. outside looking at it. Definitely not. No, there's no way. Mm. So got, that's that's tough. You're like Drake, you got trust issues. No. And hey, 
That's a perfect no. segue. Have I not? Am I not good at segues? That was a perfect segue. But you called me like Drake. And you see his look at his look at his face. We got you in five five k. What do you mean? Caught you in eight k. What does it say about me? No, I'm just just you know. Because this is what I could say. It's like you now you're like Drake because you like telling all these <laughs> no. ma- these no, masquerades. Don't, don't do that. Don't like, do that. Don't do that. Back to relationships. <laughs> so. <laughs> This is gonna be the whole thing. We're gonna like throw. <laughs> we're subtle, gonna dance around. We're it. subtly arguing about <laughs> yeah. it underneath the conversation. <laughs> There's you have to really like watch to like pick out who's who's where with this whole thing. Um, no, we'll talk about it. But I don't know. I don't want to run into it. I, I just want to. I just want to let it come up organically. But yeah, sure. <laughs> so are you? So are you open to? I think the biggest problems I had were communication and really connect. Like putting at like put collaborating yeah to communicate and come up with like a compromise what do you think thing? holds you back from communicating well in a relationship uh it's a common it's a combination of sometimes i just i can't control the amount of like it's gonna sound so stupid like no sometimes i just want to do as much as i can to make things okay yeah when it doesn't have to, it's not about like how, how much you do. It's mm-hmm. just like you analyze what's happening okay. together. Yeah. And you say, oh, this is wrong. And like, let's do this and figure this out. Yeah. You know, and fix this like yeah. this. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of being like, oh, like I'm going to do this extra shit and not deal with that. Right. You know, because right. that takes like sitting down and talking about it for real. That's the real work. Yeah. 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 So, and you can't get kind of test that or like practice that if you're not in some shit. Right. You know, in some real shit. Yeah, it's very true, man. I've learned like this is going to sound like the broest bro comment on a podcast yeah. in a while. I like that. But this is my take on it from my experience. I had to learn over years. I can't. There's times where I'm not going to say I'll, I'll say my wife, the woman I am married to, where she needs just to let it out. Yeah. Where there's no fix. There is no. There's no, I have to do this yeah. to help her. So I learned that like my instinct is fix it. Mm. My instinct coming in. And that's, that was like the basis yeah. of a lot of our problems was like, how, if I, if I feel like I can't fix the problem, I feel ineffective. Yes. I feel like I'm not a good boyfriend or, or fiance or husband or whatever partner. And if, if I'm feeling that way and then I'm reacting in that way, like an ineffective, useless dude. That's next to her while she's going through her or whatever, and she's like letting out all this stuff, and I'm like, I can't put out this fire. Then this isn't gonna work. Mm. And um, and it took a while for us to like start using our words and and her expressing herself and me actually listening and hearing that I needed to like just be present for whatever's coming. Sometimes, like sometimes it's just you need to be an ear, a a a shoulder, you know, like. You just need to be there to like support the the emotion that's coming out. Yeah. And that's different than that's helping. That's a form of helping. That's a yeah. form of like working. Isn't it also you think that it's because I feel like we do that too. Yeah, of course we do. You know? Yeah. But but I think it's funny though, sometimes this is how I feel too, is when you're in a relationship, it's like you think it's different than this like human to human. It's just like a thing that happens. Yeah. You know, but we're like, oh, it's but it's a now it's like this joint thing and like we're two people, not one and one sometimes, uh-huh. you know? So, oh, if I can't help, then I'm being bad, you know? But totally. it's like, okay, you're together still, but you're also separate individuals, individuals right? That's right. So, I, yeah, that mix up is hard sometimes, mm-hmm. you know? Because mm-hmm. that was my thing. I love the feeling of being like one thing, one body, of course, two, of you course, know? Of course. But it's like, you can't do that. All, it's not all the time. Yeah, you're still you two, know? technically two individuals. If someone wrongs someone, it's like, then obviously it's not, yeah. that's fractured a little bit. Yeah, dude. And depending on who you are as a person and how you came up, like if you adopt other people's feelings, if you're, let's say, let's call it empath- empathy, yeah. you have a lot of empathy, you could contort that empathy and let it like grow into this thing where like, if you're upset, I'm upset. Yeah. If you're sad, I'm sad. If you're hurt, I'm hurt. When in reality, like I had a good day. Yeah. I'm having a good day. Like I'm, I'm chilling kind of. And I think I used to like, I used to twist that and, and think like, because we're one, if you're down, I got to be down with you and like bring it yeah. back up. It doesn't mean I got to like feel what you're feeling totally. Mm-hmm. I can I can understand what you're feeling, but also be in a good place and like 
stay in that good place. Mm. You know, it's a, it's a tough thing. I don't know how to do it yet. I'm like still working on it. I have yeah. to talk to myself consciously and be like, she's going through this, not you. She, I grew up where it was like, I had to, I had to adapt all the shit around me. And I thought I just had to like keep yeah. the boat up. So mm-hmm. I would just adopt how you felt and you felt. And I just wanted to like raise the ship, all of us mm. together. And I felt like shit until it happened. Yeah. And then I felt like I was like doing something significant. Yeah. Then I was a good son, a good fo- uh, 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 boyfriend, a good whatever friend. Um, when in reality, it's like if you're in a good spot in a relationship, you don't have to like drag yourself down into the place they're at to help them. It's you're you're in, you're in a good place. Mm-hmm. You're an individual. You're 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 your own entity. It doesn't yeah. mean it doesn't hurt to see them down. It definitely hurts, but it's like I don't know. I I, I could get like like this. I could just get angry and like. Cause she's angry or upset because she's upset or you know whatever you know I, I, and and i don't know i just i'm, I'm trying to i don't know how we got here but yeah. i guess it's just talking about relationships yeah, yeah. and like pitfalls Growing to look out and, for going forward yeah yeah so that was one of them for me it's like i just communicating that like oh i need an she did a really good job of it being like i just need i just need you to listen yeah it's like oh duh yeah okay it's not that it's not this isn't about you yeah it has nothing to do with you yeah i just feel about this about this thing at work or whatever and Mm -hmm. i want to get it out yeah i feel like sometimes i feel like we both kind of fall into it's like just to solve the problem especially if it's like something where you're like oh man if i go there like "Mm, i can just fit i'll fix it and i'll make them feel like shit yeah yeah because you're making them feel like shit Mm -hmm. you know and they deserve it i'll fix it Yeah. yeah oh yeah oh yeah oh my god bro don't you don't you think like Maybe like, you know, in China, they have like social credit system. Maybe that'll like help. Oh, yes. Maybe that'd be good. Everyone's got a score. Yeah. That's fucking. What what do you think your score would be? (laughs) Out of like 700 or like 800? Out of like five or something. Out of five? You get like a, it's like a Yelp rating. Five best, one worst? Yeah. Oh, man. And there's like decimals. I'm probably (laughs) floating at like, I would like to, I'd hope I'd be above a three. Yeah. How about you? You're you're cruising. I feel. Like I think I could be at like four. Yeah, I was gonna say you're in I good. I think I'd be four because I, I think I can. Like I wouldn't be a nuisance to society. What affects the <laughs> score? Crimes. I think like you know if if you if there's like a interjection like that or like you, you know disrupt. Yeah, like a you know like your red moments like maybe you those know at bad. that you guys both that's go, true that you bad. both go minus one point at each one of those. Oh, and then you can't get in a supermarket. And then you start yeah, and then you start going to like the supermarket and you, know, you can't get like, in. Wait, is that how it works now? No, I don't think it's like that. I don't think it's like that completely. But how do they, I don't know? How do they follow you? I wonder. That's what I'm curious about. What do you mean follow you? Is it like a chip on your phone that like this your like you have to scan as you go through places or I think a something camera. like that. That's I think maybe an ID card or something. Oh, wow. Yeah. Do you think it would help America or hurt it? I think some people need that. <laughs> okay. I think some people need to be checked on that. Damn. You know? Yeah. I mean, I would. I would not want that on the record. I know me either. <laughs> on the record, I'm I don't not, think so. I'm I it. think it would maybe help a little bit. Yeah. Though, you know, if we all kind of have to watch what we do and say. Yeah. But then there'd be no podcast. Yeah. Then our people, people be driving by and see a big red red star, you Damn, know, on, above your door, dude. Yeah, yeah. it's kind of kind of sexy though. It is to go sexy. against like the uh, if you got the there'd be star. like red star club. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I would definitely We're like all to hang bad. with the red stars. Oh, I'm so bad. Yeah. Oh, look at me. <laughs> Speaking of red stars, yeah. What's up, dude? I say we got to break down what's been going on, man. Let's just because I got to be honest, I don't know how I can even podcast because all I've been thinking about and doing every day is this 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 rat beef, man. Here we go. It's what I've been into. Here we go, and like pretty heavily. Yeah, me too. Because I love this shit. I've cut myself off last night. That's it. Um, I had. I tried. Yeah, I try. I try, and then it sucks me back in, well, dude. Who, I who never. Your blood, I man. never have ever gone on Twitter. For more than like five minutes yeah. before all this. Yeah. Now you're on there all day. No, I'm there every day. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. scrolling, just be like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like laughing, dying. Like yeah. it is. Yeah. I don't know, man. We're in a weird time. This is a it's strange, a strange place to be. Strange but they, time. They seem to have revived hip hop in, so, in, in a yes, major way. I agree. In a major way. I think way. it's good. I think we should try to do, because you know, I thought about this. I was like, my dad was like, yeah, I couldn't listen to your episode because I don't know what the We're hell just screaming at each other. Yeah, it just weird. makes no context. No sense. Yeah, yeah. I say, you want to walk through it? Because we get heated. I'm not going to get heated About these things. Today. I don't think we should get heated. 
I think we should just walk through, like, summarize everything. I would love that. You know? From what I, yeah. Calmly. Try to. I would love that. Yeah. I let's like see that. let's see if we can do it but let's that's a good challenge for us that's man. a challenge that's we're, at, a challenge. we're at 20 minutes we can we can do this we right? can do this we can do this this is the episode okay so we start what happens Rap. first hip-hop guys tune in ready <laughs> what do you, what, you when did you start getting into like hip-hop oh man stuff? my dad yes my dad would would play yes. like tupac and biggie yeah man and r&b Talk about beef, like dude. like yeah uh, uh who was his guy White, what's his name? The R and B guy, big time. White? Did you just say White? Yeah, his last name is White. I Maurice can't... White. Barry White. Oh, Barry White. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're playing that. We're, he, but That's he's... crazy that you even mentioned that because the beef starts with a Barry White sample. See, it's all it's all ties back. But yeah, my dad got me in. I was a kid, and I told you we used Barry to go to the shit. He would take me to New York City, and we would it would be like a weekend trip, like a, like a day trip. Mm. And we go to Sammy's Noodle Shop in the in the Lower East Side, but before we went there, we would stop at. Before we got on the train, we go to like, um, oh no, we go to Central Park mm. at some point. We'd like walk around and we go to Central Park, and during the summers, like there'd be like all these like ciphers in Central Park in yeah. the, in like the nineties. Really? Yeah. So you'd have like the boom boxes and everyone's outside Oof. like around the fountain, like just rapping. Oh. And my, you know, it was like I see all those videos online, though. dude. It was like insane. most death on the corner. Yeah. Like. It was beautiful. So yeah, growing up near the city, and my dad taking me in, and, and just he, I, yeah, he, I remember him picking up on the on, from a from a street vendor the the the, the black album. Oh, and like we were damn. listening to it going back through the oh. Lincoln Tunnel, like on the CD, dude. Like that, the, my dad definitely got me into hip hop. But yeah, how'd you get into hip hop, dude? I got into it from my brother. Bro, bro. One, we used to hate each other. And then one Christmas, I don't know what happened. We both decided to like rejoice with each other. And he was like, dude, we we, we connected on music. It wasn't a conscious decision. No. But like you both. For some sit- reason, we were like, like now we were sitting, we were sitting by the fire, the fireplace. And we're like, perfectly like Christmas time, hot cocoa. <laughs> we we're like, dude, like what music do you listen to? You know? And we just started like talking about what we do. You and didn't like, know? No. You guys are really We separated. didn't know. Yeah, we were. We hated each other. You hated each other. Yeah, we did not get along. We fought like all the time. We'd just like wrestle and like, wow. We'd cry, hit each other, like all this shit. Shit. Every day. How old? You got to ask my brother. He'll he'll correct it. He'll put it in the comments. But yeah. it was probably like. Shout out to you guys. It's got to be. This was like adult swim. He got into it. So it's like. 2000 and. Yeah, we had to be like. 15, 16, 16, So you really 17. weren't rocking with each other for a while? No. Nah. Wow. I'm thinking 15, 16, 17, somewhere around there. Okay. You Whoa, know? yeah. I didn't know that. Um, Dang. Yeah. And we even had like, because we're three, we're three years apart, so we'd always have one year in school yeah. together. Yeah. And the one year, we didn't, we never got with each other, like ever. We never hung out, nothing. And in college, after this was after we got so close, dude, we were there. We were, I didn't talk to anyone else. <laughs> just your brother. We just hung out every day. Wow. And just messed around, like danced on the... The, the, in the auditorium rooms and shit. Like, <laughs> really? Yeah, we we're being crazy. It's amazing. And that's all we're still on. Like, we we're just hanging out. Because yeah. it's like our one year and we're so close. Yeah. And we're like, dude, we're just going to do this all day. Yeah. You know, meet up and hang out. So we're by the fire and we just start exchanging music and stuff. And I, I was in like heavy dubstep phase. Like, I, I just, hit, I just hit like a Skrillex concert. You know what I mean? Like, Steve Aoki. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And he's telling me about all this like on Adult Swim. Like he's staying up and he's like listening to the the little commercial things, the bumps. Yeah. You ever see those? Like no, in between shows. I don't think so. They do like this weird thing where in between shows or episodes, they do like a commercial break that's it's an adult swim. It's made by adult swim. Mm-hmm. And there's like an artist does like a weird like sometimes it's like really creepy, like uh like a moon with like looking down on earth or some shit. Like just these weird artistic little cartoons, things. Little sketch? Sometimes. Animated. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. no, not like sometimes animated, sometimes it's just a screen. Oh wow. And it says like it just says like they're watching or something. Okay. You know, like weird, creepy. Yeah. But they also they also put like music behind it. Yeah. And a, a lot of people found like great music from those bumps. Really? And a lot of it that was on there was like Jay Dilla, New Javis, MF Doom, all that like underground hip hop stuff. Whoa. So he was, and he was like, I like these songs. Like, what are these? And he started looking up online, like figuring it out. And uh, he just started like downloading like beats and all this stuff. And he's showing me just instrumentals and beats. And he's like, dude, I don't know why, but I just like... 
this shit hits me like hard. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. And I'm listening to like these crazy, like, you know, like electronic dubstep beats. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, like, I like this though too. And yeah. like, we were like sharing stuff. And I got super into that. And he was showing like Tupac, The Roots. Yeah. And he's like, I really like like these guys and like the stories they're telling. And I don't know, like it was, it was just this whole world I was opened up yeah, to. Yeah, dude. And like Kanye, yeah. like, dude, crazy. You know what I mean? So we started like really getting into that. And then I was like, I remember I was trying to make dubstep like on FL Studio mm. and like like downloading a cop like a free copy and trying to figure it out. To make and that's where I started like we got into like the beats and everything and we were just he had like a million like he used uh Winamp. You know Winamp? Yeah. It's like the music player. Yeah. Instead of like Windows yeah, Media Player. I remember. He had Winamp. And uh he just down he had like all these like unreleased beat CDs by Jay Dilla, like all these things, like secret like thousands of beats, you know what I mean? Like people were like searching for this stuff. Yeah. It's crazy. Um, it's like an archive of like history, you know what I mean? And uh, he was teaching me about all that. And like, then we just both dove into all that, you know? Mm. And uh, I started trying to make beats too. Like the sampling, I loved sampling. And that's kind of similar to electronic music. They're sampling as well, doing things like that. And I was like, I, I don't know. I just loved the, the idea of like the simplicity of like beats, beat making how like it could just be drums and like a sample cut up in a way to make it sound and but you could get all this emotion from it yeah and that's how i got it from a lot of like jay dilla stuff mm. ninth wonder in the beginning mm. like those are my favorite mm. you know what i mean um yeah that's how i got into it that's sick you dude. know so, all the way up till now yeah the beats gave you like a love for yeah like, that made me like appreciate everything of the simplicity of yeah. making a beat yeah what it could draw out of people because i remember a lot of people saying like hip-hop has no like musical elements you Whoa. know I remember like Ben Shapiro was saying this shit. It's what? like, it's not, a, it's not an actual art form like or music. It's not real music. It doesn't have like rhythm or anything. It's like, dude, you're crazy. You know what I mean? Are you kidding me? Yeah, this is like a big thing people were saying. Um, and it's just like taking other things. You know what I mean? But it's an art form. You know what I mean? Of course it is. Yeah. And uh, I, I yeah, almost said a really mean thing and I'm going to withhold that, I like that mean thing. Yeah. Growth. Growth. Um, but hey, from there... Definitely, do 2010s, like, those were, that was the age of, like, the J. Cole, mm -hmm. the Kendrick. Oh, when I was, that was, that's my blossoming yeah. to hip-hop. Yeah. That I remember I'd be in the gym. Mm. That was my soundtrack. Yeah. Dude, J. life Cole. was so much better when you were, if you were listening to hip-hop. Because oh. if I was still listening to everything else, it would not hit the same. Bro, at that time in my life, for some yeah. reason, that... Energy? It was the perfect soundtrack to college, high school, like everything, It bro. fueled my... It, I felt like I was on this ascendance yeah. into finding out who I was. And I was in college. I felt more free and on my own. I was finding my path. I found acting. I was yeah. like growing, growing into my body. And like I was following... Like J. Cole was a huge influence on me because yeah. like his music was a lot about coming up yeah. from nothing and then like this like rise into logic was big at the yeah. time i was very heavy into logic i was in, into um mac i was getting into mac oh, yeah, big man. time um a lot more i wish i got into mac at that age dude, dude he you got me into him he was i was on him like we i was listening to his music and those that mix of music oh and then and then throwing in like a tupac and a biggie and bringing him the past with it and realizing yeah. like it was just pure energy for me. Yeah. That 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 music at that time, for some reason, it was like this the right vibration I needed to find yeah. to like work out and like pursue this crazy yeah. career and like fuck everyone who doesn't believe me. Yeah. And like, I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna get there, I'm gonna do it. That was that was my story with it. No, hundred percent. Yeah. Like the, the the story of it, dude. The story is the shit. Yeah. I yeah. love that. Yeah, bro. That's yeah, J. Cole hundred percent. Oh my gosh. I, oh I wasn't getting gosh. into J. Cole like that, you know. I was more into Kendrick. Yeah. Good Kid, Mad City, crazy yeah. at that time. Yeah, um, I missed it and came back to Kendrick yeah. after. I did the same yeah. thing with J. Cole. Yeah, and uh, Matt, when I met you, you're like Mac. these are the guys. Yeah, you know. And the, the only reason I didn't like Mac Miller was because because he was on a Ninth Wonder. Is he he put out a bunch of like albums himself? He's a producer though. You know, Mac. Or no, Ninth no, Wonder. Ninth Wonder. Yeah, He's a producer, but he put out like album you know like j some people put out like albums but they just have people rap on it yeah yeah he had the wonder years and he had mac miller on it Kenny and he had beats, kendrick right? on it too Kenny beats had that that sick one recently uh but no one rapped on it or people no one rapped on it oh that's right no. it was just kenny this was and i dude i looked back and i listened to it actually like, after all this like yesterday they had he had mac miller on a song he this was like 2009 
Oh, he was still, he was just yes. getting big. Yeah. He had Mac Miller on a song. He had Kendrick Lamar on a song. Yeah. Like the third verse, like on a song. That's like, where he was at. Insane. Yeah. You know? And uh, I don't know, from from there, dude. I, there's just so many what's like a good memory you have of just like a song or oh, music or something brother like i remember dude i i could summer windows open i'm on my computer looking at like the newest like uh logic mixtape on dat piff yeah like by myself in yeah. my in, in the speakers are on i'm just blasting it yeah and i'm like this is crap I, my energy was through the roof for some yeah. reason with that kind of Mixtapes were big. Yeah. Like, that piff? Yeah, dude. I remember Frank... I found Frank Ocean on yes, that piff. Yes, I downloaded all this shit. And I was like, what is this shit, dude? But I remember like that being in my room by myself, windows open, air coming through and like yep. just bumping in the summer. I had no fucking bills to pay. I had nothing to yeah. do other than like just enjoy this yeah. music. Yeah. I was fucking loving it, dude. I, rem- I remember like... Now that I think about it, my problem was always like... I was very closed off to the mainstream stuff. I was like, no, we got to be underground, underground, you know, like, <laughs> underground, <laughs> fuck you, God. underground only. And then I remember when I went to my brother's friend, I used to go over to sometimes his friend's house. Yeah. And I remember when Good Kid Mad City came out, his friend was listening to it and he's like, this is the fucking shit. And this is like crazy. Yeah. This is like, he, this guy's the best. Yeah. And like, we we're in the car and I'm like, listen, I'm like, holy shit. Like, what is this guy? Kendrick. you know what i mean like money trees yeah. don't kill my vibe yep, yep i was like hold up like we might have to start listening to mainstream stuff yeah you know because that was mainstream yeah. and i'm like damn did you, you know? talk to your brother about it like actively and you were like i think we need to listen to i think it. he started bringing me into that too he's like no there's some people that are fucking killing it yeah. you know what i mean yeah. but i was like nah man i'll go listen to the roots man. yeah yeah yeah. Man, tribe Paul yeah, quest yeah, man. Yeah, yeah but it's like you know that opened me up a little bit you know yeah and i remember for mac miller too it was like back then i was so like beats are the basis of all this shit, right? Right, which they are. It's, I mean, it's it's a it's an element, you know what I mean? Because you could still like freestyle on the corner, you know what I mean? Like, That's true. That was the thing too, That's you true. know what I mean? That's true. So it's like it's it's one's not greater or less, you know, but it is a big part of they it. They both serve each other. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. And I remember one thing I did not like about Mac Miller because there was like rumors going around, and there was a video about someone was like caught Mac Miller off guard and was like, "Yo, you stole the beat from Ninth Wonder, bro." And, like, I think this was, like, mixtape era where everyone took beats yeah. and just rapped on them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, of course. So, I think someone was calling him out for that. Dude, Lil Wayne? Yes. Yeah. No ceilings? So, someone was calling him out for that yeah. and it became this whole thing. Yeah. And, like, there was a... I remember the video was crazy. Like, Max, like, he turns around he's like, oh, shit. And he, like, ran away. He and did? I was like, yeah. And I was like, what the fuck? This guy's an idiot. Like, oh, this guy's geez. a loser. Oh, boy. You know? So, yeah. then I was like, I just called him I'm off. I'm off it, yeah. Yeah. Which is, like, dude you know yeah, as a yeah, kid yeah, that yeah, makes me like yeah. screw it man <laughs> no. took a beat. but that's funny first of all i forgot totally about my my little wayne fandom oh yeah with dude. the mixtapes he had and the, oh, yeah. uh, his run was insane and drake amazing. took his girl and drake took his girl and and here's the thing yeah, i'm thinking now is like <laughs> as a kid like in that era when we we're in that time and it's like hip-hop is meaning so much to us and we're growing yeah. and we got all this energy going. Yeah, man. i feel like and I said it to you when we were painting we we're painting outside. Yeah. Isn't it funny that now as adults and like the rest of the world, like adults around the world, look at, you know, grown men, other grown men who are, you know, well into their thirties, they have whatever. They have yeah. lives. And we we observe them and we listen to their music and we criticize or we get excited about mm. like people trying to to tear each other down in the music because i know hip-hop a big part of hip-hop was that it was yeah. like that's a major element of hip-hop yeah is the yeah. is the rap beef is an mc calling out an mc yeah either they're less than them or for whatever reason they call them out and then they battle yeah it's a major part of hip-hop competition totally it's there's sport, healthy competition you know? in sport i just always now that i'm like i'm trying to zoom out yeah. and like look at us as a if we were in a coliseum yeah and it's like all of us are like yeah, yeah. Fuck, I have to hear these go listen to this and fuck. it's amazing how it's like a sport yeah and then i thought about sports that is like time. timeless yeah and i'm like we everyone is going to pick either some kind of side or wear the colors of some team or root for a mm. city like we're built 
that way, I guess. Yeah. We're like, we like the competition. Like if we're not like struggling to like get a food on the plate, yeah. like we're going to find a way to like entertain ourselves with yeah. like you humans battle it out. That's right. That's you right. Know? Yeah. We like, get that bored. We get to observe who's going to best the, the other. Yeah. And that's what, what we're observing now. Right. And it's funny. It's like, even like, not even in like lifting shit, like strength. No, now it's like, you got to talk it out. Poetry. <laughs> Just yeah, like, all yeah. right. And and it's art. So it's like, yeah. it, it can't, you can't factually say by percentage points, this is the win. Yeah. It's just going to be, you think this, they think that, he thinks that, I think this, but there's no definitive winner in anything, right? Like we, yeah. we look at Nas and Jay-Z and you're still going to find people who say Jay-Z won. You're still going to yeah. find people who say Nas won. Yeah. Which is fine. Yeah. It's fine. It's just, um, it's funny. You turn, you, we can turn an art form. Hip hop is interesting that way. Yeah. Country music doesn't do this. Mm, you know, like, really? do they do that? I don't know. Do they? Do they make like, uh, is there, is there battles? Country battles? I don't think so. Or like no. jazz battles? No, no. That's Actually, right. yeah, you don't really hear about like who's the greatest country singer of all. Like, right. You know, they just exist amongst I, each other. I think there's just like these like classic people. Yeah. You know, like yeah, it's not really like the same competition. But that's hip hop was birthed. Yeah. In a place and a time where like that was. A yeah, part I guess of it doesn't really have the energy. It's a different energy. Yeah. Yeah, it's a different energy. It's you wouldn't. Yeah. All I'm trying to say is like certain art forms. I guess don't. They have competitiveness within the artists themselves, maybe. Yeah. But it's not like... It's also, you know, it's a testament to how how important now, like, like the popular culture is in music now. That's a... You know? Because it, now it's connected. Because yeah. now it's like... You, now there's just memes. People are just memeing and, like, destroying the, the image of, like, Drake now. Yeah. They're just, like, the songs they put out. 100%. And everyone's looking at it, mm -hmm. you know? Can you can you now that we've we've opened this up? Yeah. Do you want to walk us and the audience and everyone listening through? Yeah, through what happened? What's going on? Yeah, objective. Yeah, we could, we could. Like what 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 are, what are the facts? What was laid out? What happened? Man, I let's talk about first though. Is like with yeah, we could start like way back, just like very generally, you know, with with Drake and Kendrick. Like like when you heard Kendrick and Drake come out, you I was know, listening like, to Drake back in like. I wasn't into it. That so, was one guy I really didn't like. Yeah, he had the he had the the weird like and cardigan I on. And it's funny. One reason I really didn't like him, yeah, was because of similar things that there there are arguments right now about like going against him. Is this the fact that he's been stealing like? We'll get to that. We'll get to that. No, no, no. I'm, well, I'm just saying. Oh, okay, the okay. first thing I heard was, I remember when um there was a big beef thing happened with Ninth Wonder, on Again think, with on, Ninth on Wonder. think good thoughts. Drake took a beat and like. Fonte, if you remember, like there's a lot of songs where like some he was like I remember I think Drake like looked up to a lot of those he he, he, he knows a bunch of shit big you know time. what I mean big Drake's time. a fan yeah of hip hop yeah big time and Fonte like there's a lot of people that were like put him and him like side by side for some like flows and verses and like it was very similar dude mm -hmm. like similar you know things that are happening now mm -hmm. but that was one reason I was like oh like especially with this beat thing and. I don't know. I didn't, I didn't like how the way it was playing out. And I was like, oh, it's kind of like yeah. stealing shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. I just didn't like people that stole shit. Yeah. I, Same with Mac Miller. It's like, I he stole, stole, stole a beat. I'm like, you're kind of, and it, it, what is it all? Like, I feel like I can't, I don't really want to speak out as like this white dude, but that's what I really loved about it. Like this culture thing that I can look at from outside. I I'm, have no connection to it. No skin or blood connection. And I can like learn about it all and like figure, like, I don't know, just get in, in, in intrigued in the whole just story of it you know because uh -huh. it's it's beautiful you know what i mean it's like it's got so much history it's you can there, people teach it in college you know what i mean it's like a historical thing right. in american history right you right. know yeah um i don't know if i'm going on a tangent for that but and then i always noticed like throughout all the years especially when that first experience of like kendrick and everything i was like oh this guy is creating these like just huge like canvas paintings mm -hmm. of like crazy like concepts and all these things mm -hmm. and a lot of the artists i loved was concept mm -hmm. you know like the roots albums like all of those back in the day like and i and i remember like people hate were hating on um after how i got over the roots made undone which was like this huge concept album mm -hmm. and everyone no one liked it you know what i mean i'm like oh but this is like crazy like 
they're going even deeper, like artistically. And like, that's what my first inklings of like, oh, how art can, it can go too far for people in this like pop culture, like genre of music kind of, mm-hmm. you know, like you could divide people. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. And I feel like that's kind of what's happening right now in a way with the music, at least. I'm not talking about how the beef, right. but I'm talking in music in general. Right, right, right. You know, because we saw how nowadays, like as time went on, it got easier to, you know, be a bedroom producer, bedroom rapper. You can be independent, which is amazing. Yeah. But I feel like it breeds like this saturation of like, I don't know how to put it. Just like saturation of music, which the norm and popular thing was like very like trappy, new age, newer age kind of like money drug. Like, you know what I mean? Like I could say like kind of Drake genre. Like genre, like Drake made a genre. Right. Out of like music. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and I saw how like the artistic side of things kind of like separated a little bit. Totally. You know, like the appreciation for both. Right. And there's still people, you know, there's a side of, I'm not saying like everyone is on this wave, but yeah. Yeah. there's a split a little bit, you right. know, right. and you can go deeper, which is great, but you can also stay at like the surface level. Totally. You know, totally. I don't think that's too cra- like crazy to say. Yeah. I think that's fair. And for you, like when you were growing with like Drake and Kendrick. Yeah. And all this stuff. Big crit. A hundred percent. boy. Yeah. Like, yeah. But yeah, I think early on when I, f- when I first heard Drake, it was like, he's, I was shown, it was like on the internet. Yeah. It was like, he was getting kind of the, the push from Lil yeah. Wayne, right? So yeah. he's this actor and now he's this rapper. And I was like, well, what's he, what's he doing? It's like, then it was the, the LeBron movie came out and he had a song with the LeBron movie and LeBron yeah. was announced with greatness and they were bringing this young, this young, like new budding prodigy yeah he was like labeled the prodigy like he was going to be the one that's how he's being talked about and that's how people were listening to him Mm. and so when i heard his music i was like well this is kind of fire like i was just enjoying the music i wasn't you know he definitely was like i mean i i'm I'm not a historian of it i i know what i know but i was like this is fucking kind of a hit like he was making a hit back then yeah you know yeah. he had hits back then yeah 100 percent. and um i never got into drake because i feel like this there was like still i think this sense of corniness like this the gr- kid coming fair. from the grassy like all oh, this whole thing totally and he's like this woman guy like this girl's man like mm-hmm. i don't know, like the way he was moving like i wouldn't do that yeah that's and i'm like i don't i don't like that because totally he's fair. being super i don't know yeah and even like the singing like the I tried going back to Take Care and like a lot of these early albums because like I, I went back and I'm like, let me listen to all these people again. Yeah. Like, I always love doing that. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm listening to Drake. I'm like, I can't listen to this. I'm yeah. like, dude, I, I, I don't get it. Yeah. I don't get it. He's Take not, Care, like he's, I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't, it doesn't align with what you fell in yeah. love with hip hop. Yeah. yeah. So you're not going to vibe with it. And I love R&B, bro. Yeah, but it's, it's that's a it's a different. I love R&B. Drake I is, love soul. That was the one thing I didn't mention too. Yeah. On top of the... Like the the sample side, like growing up, when yeah. my brother got me into it, that's what we got into even more. R&B. Was like the seventies soul, yeah, funk, man. yeah, Earth, Wind, and, and who's, Fire. Who's in line with Marvin that? Marvin Gaye? Who's in line with that? All that shit. Kendrick is so in line. Yeah, with that. I mean, I think all of hip hop kind of aligned with that. Not all, but definitely. I mean, Drake's dad is you know he had to play a little bit of part and stuff. You know what I mean? Like, there's all history. All these people have connections and for sure. I remember, and I want to shout out just like two people. I want to ask my brother about this again too. Mm-hmm. I'm sure he's listening, but. I remember we, I wanted to ask him if we got into more about soul from our one job. We worked together at a job. Right. It was like an old person's home thing. Yeah, yeah. And there were these two ladies that were like managers there. It was um, Carmen and Denise. Wow. And they're like these, they're, they're, they're these auntie, like grandma, like, you know, black, like they were, they were, they were the cultural, like, <laughs> I don't know. I was like, oh my God, they're the best and they were the coolest. Yeah. And I remember we'd always talk to them about this music and like they'd tell us stuff and show us things. And I was like, this is, I don't know. I love talking about it with them because they were so open to it and everything. And they were so kind. And yeah. I don't know. It just opened up that like I could talk to someone about this stuff, you know, because we were getting so into it. Yeah. I got even more into like just the soul. And oh my God, man. It's so, some of the best music, man. Artistically, absolutely. absolutely. Like amazing. You know what I mean? And that's where it all comes Luther from. Luther Vandross too. was the other. Oh one. man, that's the one we were. Remember, really, Dad got me into him. We jammed on Luther. Yeah, dude. big time. Yeah, and Marvin Gaye. Yeah. Oh man, 
just all those guys. But yeah, but Chris they, Mayfield. But they crossed up, over, man. That that kind of R and B music, that yeah. soul music. Yeah. That I mean, how that reached my father in Patterson, New Jersey. Yeah. As a kid, he was like jamming to jazz yeah. and like the funny thing too is like even Patterson's got like a history of all oh, that stuff. For like sure. Big places in Jersey, especially like around America. Yeah. The, every little spot there's something, yep. dude. Yep. Every little spot. That's what's awesome about it. But that's that's why it brings everyone together. Absolutely, dude. You know, absolutely. That's the power. Of that's music. the intention of art. Period. Yeah. You create a, a community, a sense of community, bro. But hip hop, that's what it did. It came from j- uh, uh, blues that grew into like yeah. jazz, that grew into R and B, that grew into a version of hip hop. Yeah, man. So I mean, yeah. Back to like when I experienced Drake coming up, that it was it was like that budding, exciting. Yeah. I'm buzzing. I feel like a young fuck. I feel like a prodigy. I want to be yeah. special. I want to be. So Drake was kind of in line with that, along with the logic and the J Cole element and the mixture of Mac and Kendrick. I got into after um, Good Kid, Mad City came out mm. a couple of years later. I like went back to it. Yeah, and I was like, you know, I'd, I'd been hearing his name a bunch. I heard him on a feature or two, and I was like, well, let me go investigate this album. And I thought it was fantastic, and it and it gave me like an insight on Compton. And then I found like Vince Staples through that, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, West Coast. Oh, bro, and I fell in love with West Coast yeah. shit, and I fell in love with Southern shit with Big Crit. Yeah. Um, but yeah, when I was listening to Kendrick, I'm like, this dude is like out there, but fantastic because he's a poet and mm. he's like creating these like, like you said, a concept. It's a yeah. full album that's a concept, and it's like. It gives you this perspective you never had. I never had as a kid from yeah. Elmo Park, New Jersey. I didn't know what Compton looked like, sounded like. I didn't know yeah. what it was like to grow up there. Um, yeah, we're East Coast kids. 100%. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it, we don't it, know nothing about it. It gave me something in form of, in the form of artistry that I wasn't getting, that I got from J. Cole for sure. Yeah. But I wasn't quite getting. I think also, too, my brother was really in on on Tupac. Oh, and like, gosh. I would, he kind of transferred that to me, and I'm like, and I'm like learning about Kendrick from the West Coast, and yeah. I'm like, yo, like, yeah, he's like kind of keeping that alive, right. dude. You know right. what I mean? Right. Like this crazy movement that this guy was able to do. Hundred percent. He was poetic. And he was he labeled was, that yeah. very early. Yeah, on. and that was and it was sick. He's was gonna cool. be the guy to to carry on this tradition. Yeah, and that's what he was doing. And that poetic shit is like was cool. He made he it made cool. it cool. Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah. And I love that. The, I love that. The the uh, the sound of L.A. Yeah. of Compton, like he continued that and with still poetry. like hard as shit too. Yeah, and, and that's what's that's what's impressive about yeah. him. I think is that like he's not he doesn't come off as like this shit is soft. Yeah, at all, which is impressive. You know, um, so yeah, that was like my introduction, and that's where I was coming into this whole explosion that happened yeah man over the past couple of weeks yeah and now we're here <laughs> now we're here the yeah. last thing i want to say is i remember for kendrick's damn album because i was after tip the tip of a butterfly i was like oh well this is the greatest person <laughs> yeah, like yeah, this yeah. is you know and, and it's highly acclaimed all this stuff and damn is gonna come out i remember i had a listening party for it with like my friends <laughs> yeah and my brother and with like, damn when it came yeah out? Oh, wow. and we were in like at night at the lights off like dim <laughs> And like we're listening, we're like, "What the hell <laughs> is going on, man?" We're like freaking out. Yeah, it's insane. You yeah, know what I mean? Like a, it could do that. It was a beautiful album, dude. Yeah, damn um, near perfect. But we're in a here now. Damn, we're here now. Yeah. And there's always throughout all these years, yes. there's been this. We're talking. We're talking about these people because they're 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 the ones to talk about. They're, they're the, the ones popular, that, most popular rappers, right? right? Like like. Like back in the day, it was Tupac, Biggie, they yeah. had Jay Z, not like all this stuff. Yeah. These are this, this 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 generation, and this is the generation of social media of all this right, stuff. So right. everyone's even more invested, man. Now, yeah, yeah, like way more, and like everything is instant. You'll know instantly when a song comes out. You don't got to go to like the corner and like hear from like when you're at the at the barber or something. That's right, dude. And you just know mm-hmm. by a, a notification. Yeah, you know what I mean? Right away. So there's all these tactics and everything. You can I don't know the possibilities endless. Um. So there's this competition between these three guys, yeah. right? And <laughs> my boy. Well, let's let's talk about it. So I think the real, <laughs> the real, like triggering point from this, because there was very there's this competition, right? Uh-huh. But I think there was like really competition, not competition, but animosity yes. in the competition. Yes. Only between Kendrick and Drake. Yes. And J Cole was like this third that's like amazing great like great artist and he was in there too because he's they're just the top three uh-huh. you know and i think the real triggering point after all this has happened was the future song like that 
right? Yeah. So this was a song. Kendrick just had a verse on it. Yep. And it was unknown, like dropped it like out of nowhere. They didn't put the features on the on the track. Yeah. And he's basically calling out a song that Drake and J. Cole did called First Person Shooter. Yep. Which th- turns out we learned they asked Kendrick, Kendrick to be on it because they wanted to be like, you know, the, the the big three are on one track. You know, let's let's, let's all celebrate. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, but Kendrick said, um, you know, after all these years and all the stuff, you know, how everything's played out, I don't think I'm doing that. And what's played out? Like, like, um, are we going to, do we have to, do you want to go through that before we get to this point? Um, I think we can simplify it into, there's been just subtle jabs throughout like a decade. Yes. Yes. Subtle jabs, you know. Which Drake is very, and we don't very know, much known to, to do. Of course. And yeah. Kendrick too has been jabbed. Subtle jabs. This is not yeah. like one person yeah. is only doing it. Yeah. It's been, been these jabs, you yeah. know what I mean? And J. Cole a little bit too, sometimes. Yeah, here and there, yeah. Not like maliciously, but it's more of like, I got this shit, you know, I'm the guy. I'm the guy. It's always like, I'm the guy, I'm the guy. But then like, I think over time people are like, oh, there's really problems happening between these two. Yeah, they're actually... Like there's, there might be some issues. Yeah. And I think that solidified it by Ken, like Kendrick saying like, eh, no, I'm I'm good. me. I don't want to be with you guys. You know what I mean? Um, So that's why Kendrick went on like that because First Person Shooter came out and was like number one Mm -hmm. for a while. Mm -hmm. It was great. Awesome song. Awesome song. Dope song. Can't listen to it anymore. Yeah. There's no way. (laughs) How how do I listen to that now? That's crazy. I literally, you can't. (laughs) We're the big three like we started a league after all that's happened. I still like it. (laughs) I like it too, but I don't think I'm going to go back and listen. I get it. I get it. I don't think I can. I get it. So on that track, they were taking, I mean, I think J. Cole was... Taking nice jabs still. Yeah. Friendly competitive Yeah, jabs. between yeah. On, on Kendrick. But basically, yeah. J. Cole and Drake shook hands and they're on the same track and they're talking about the top, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. And they're kind of both saying like, I'm that, I'm number one, I'm number one. And J. Cole's, you know, pushing it too. And uh, Drake, I think, it was taking a bit more shots on there at Kendrick still. You think so? You yeah. know? I think so because they were kind of leaving him out. Yeah. And like, if you look into it, there's, I don't want to like start reading through all these lyrics and shit, man, like <laughs> I've been lot. doing way too much of it. So we can just like summarize, but I, I'm, I, I think that there are some pretty directed shots at Kendrick on that song, even by J. Cole. Mm-hmm. So it's like, I'm guessing Kendrick saw that and was like, oh, like, so you asked me to be on the song and now you're talking shit and separating mm. and still going at this. So it's like, yeah, let me hop on this really quick. Mm. And I would say even like that, the verse is like, I don't think it's really that like attacking. I think it's the same thing they've been doing. I thought so On too. both sides. I thought so too. You know? And I think that the sensationalism of the internet, what the yes. internet turned that into, what he said, and blew yeah. out of, I think blew out of proportion. Yeah. Was uh, what caused all this. Yeah. I think so too. Yeah. It like hurt the ego of the opposing. I think it made them have to address think it. they need to address it. That's right. When in reality, it's the same shit that's been he happening. He just claimed, like you two have claimed, it's me. It's not us. Yeah. It's me. I'm yeah. the best. It's, there's no big three. Right. Which is, I th- I think, fine to say. Yeah. The issue I think that I didn't get at first, but now I'm starting to see a bit is there was a whole album drafted and then another part of that album drafted where it's directed at like, we don't fuck with you. Mm, yes nobody so, fucks yeah, so, with you so that's another thing that i guess ugh, it's so hard to include now <laughs> but it's true yeah. yeah so future is another guy that basically i guess hates drake too the weekend yeah <laughs> and of the weekend is like an enemy because it's Can- canada another canada artist asap rocky asap rocky um who else that was that? after that was the second that album. was the second part yeah right yeah the, on the first album it was it just, was just, it was just su- these subtle there was a weekend like wasn't Jake Cole no. on the first one? No, second. Second, okay. But on the first one, there was like subtle, it's not really that subtle, but there's it's subtle pretty, hints of being like, hey, Drake, like you're a loser and no one likes you and trusts you now. And every this, title the of album's every called, song. The album's called We Don't Trust You. Don't yeah. Trust you. And there's little subliminals throughout the whole thing. Yeah. And then Kendrick's on that being like, well, it's just me. Yeah. You know, yeah. which I can see how that's taken like, okay, we got to fucking respond to this. You know? Yeah, yeah. Which is... He didn't have to. I will to, say, yeah, he don't but need he chose to, to. But he chose to. And it wasn't even Drake that responded. It was J. Cole. That's right. J. Cole responded first. Which he totally regretted. Which, yes. And he, stepped out. He completely walked back after dropping an EP. Yeah. 
And he had a diss track on there. Can I just say this? Yeah. The more the more that what I've seen play out, play out, yeah. and the farther away I've gotten from the event, the more I love and am in line with J. Cole. The the more I relate to that motherfucker. Mm-hmm. That's like a I this is how I took it. I feel the pressure of the internet on top of me right now. Yeah. And everyone. If I'm claiming to be what I am, which is this incredible MC. Yeah. In in this big three, and I think I'm the best, which I'm sure he believes. Mm-hmm. Um You think he still believes that? I think so. Okay. Yeah, I, I think so. I think I disagree with that. You think he doesn't believe in his heart that he's he the best? Anymore. I, that's fair. I think that he is the fact that he was able to Say in front of a crowd of people who love him, right? Yeah. To say, I'm out of here. Yeah. I'm not going to do this. I love that dude. Yeah. I fuck with that other dude still somewhat. Yeah. And uh, I don't have fight in me to do this. I don't yeah. want to fight these two and dis- and dis- smear their name yeah. and to drag them into the... And now that I'm seeing what ha- played out, played yeah. out, and we'll get into it, I'm glad that he didn't because yeah. that would have went against who he is as an artist. Yeah. He's not the type of guy yeah. to besmirch and bring out children and fucking yeah. twist and contort. He's the guy. Who, he didn't want to be a part of it. He didn't want to be a part of it. He's going to sit down with Lil Pump. I, 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 don't, I don't think we should even put that stuff into it. I don't think it's... Because uh, you could say character talking, about everything. Yeah, like about all these people. I'm just, you know what I mean? Because now I'm going to use this argument against Drake too. That's total, I'm not defending I'm cool Drake at all. Yeah. yeah, no. I'm just talking about why I fuck with J. Cole yeah. and why I've... I, I fuck with what yeah. he did now. Like, he sat down with Lil Pump, but he also made a whole track dissing Lil Pump. Yes, but he used Lil Pump's way of doing it to not diss him, but to say, hey, brother, do it this way next time. There's You're going to crash if you keep heading this way. It wasn't He wasn't drafting like a you suck, you suck. He was saying- I think in 1985 he did. I don't think he did. I think yeah. I think by the end of it, it's like, a, I fuck with you and like I'm trying to tell you, yeah. put you, put you I on could, a game. Yeah, yeah, I, I could see it. I could see it. Uh, I listen to him a lot. Yeah, and I I think that's what he was doing. He was he it, talk about a concept. Yeah, so excellent concept. Yeah, but um, yeah, I don't think he's like this malicious. I'm gonna kill. No, I don't think he's got that no, killer. No, in. no, 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 no. Whereas these two, I think they yeah. are petty enough and killer enough to yeah. do this to yeah. each other. And he wasn't. And I he think. Was like, look, it, it looks way better now. <laughs> I think so. It looks way better now. Yeah, I will agree with you. Yeah, because. Yeah. I th- and I think, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if he knew what was going to happen and said, look, I don't I even want to be a part that. of this. I just heard Schoolboy Q told him, like, don't do this because yeah. this is about to happen. Yeah. I don't think you want to do this. And he was like, you should you should get out of this. Yeah. And he's like, oh, fuck. It's going to be like that? Okay, yeah. I'm out. I'm yeah. out. I wouldn't be surprised if that was true. Yeah. I wouldn't you know either. I, mean? I wouldn't either. But also, I was like, wait, so what if, like, what if J. Cole has some shit that, like, can really be found about him? Hey, guaranteed he's rapped about it. Ah, who knows? No, but that, but that isn't that to me. That's what I think. Is, I can say with that about Kendrick, though. But what do you mean? Like he he's rapped about everything he's brought. Like that's no, gone out. No, you know we'll get into it. But I think like I, I'm I, just saying it's like it's he was quick to, to turn his back. You know, I think that's beautiful. I think you're like I don't. I know, wanna, I'm just saying this is like a what a, like yeah. a conspiracy theory. It's like what there, if he has some there shit is that, shit on him. There's shit on him. Yeah, all of yeah. them. I think maybe, all of them. I don't, maybe he didn't want to get to that point of like you know 100%, that coming out. Sense. Yeah. He's married. He has a good life going now. He doesn't yeah. want to fucking battle it out and get in front yeah. of the internet and, I, and, and I, have every fucking thing and exposed. I, and, I, and I yeah, I, I agree totally with you. Um, the only thing I can I have to like say is like I think he the fact that he put stuff out. Mm-hmm. And then walked it the back, back yeah. was a, a mistake. Yeah, hundred you know? <laughs> percent. Which um, he admitted to, especially with. I know he's especially also a fan of yeah, hip hop yeah. and everything in the history, and he knows so much. You know what I mean? And he's he was like Nas's like number one fan. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. So he knows. He knows how shit goes. Yeah. So it's like I don't know why you know, but people make mistakes, and I get yeah. it. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. But I, I get it. I wouldn't want him. To, I think he could still. You know, he his angle would be great too. You know what I mean? It I think fun. it would have been great. It would have been fun. Yeah, I think it would have been good. But it might have been too much to handle. <laughs> can Cause, you imagine? Because right now... Can you imagine? Oh, it's too much. Three-pronged? No, like, no. <laughs> do, do, I don't, do I don't even want to think about it. Whoa. I don't even want to think about it. This is too much already. I know. We're already in an hour. Oh, damn it. We didn't even get into it. I know. We didn't. <laughs> All right, keep going. Keep going. We now. might have to go for a second episode. Oh, my God. A part two. Holy shit. <laughs> we barely got into it. <laughs> I mean, dude... 
I don't know how to, yeah, it's, it's too much. It is too much. That's why I told you it's, we can't even put this in one episode. I told you that. So we got the setup, but how are we going to, we got to do like a special, you got to like merge them together or something. Yeah. This is crazy. Now we can just keep going. We can do it in 10 minutes. All right. All right. Yeah. Right. 10, 10. So look, we'll go through it quick. Let's go. You know, cause we're already, we're, we're laying it up. Yeah. Um, so J. Cole backs out. Craziest bat, re, rat beef in history? Of course. Yeah. Okay. Go 100%. Ahead. Go ahead. Um, J. Cole backs out. So now we really know this is between, and now we're waiting. We're like, this is, is this, is this Kendrick and Drake? Like, is this going to go down? Is this going to happen? Because nothing happened. Right. Nothing. And we're waiting. We're waiting. Drake drops push-ups. That's and, how it started? Yeah. It was after. Whoa. Yeah. Right. I guess. I forget now. I forget the order of it. No, it's got to be. I totally forget. Okay. <laughs> I don't. Do I, now you're making me second guess myself. I'm sorry, man. I don't remember. And push-ups. Yeah. Yes, yeah. So you're right. You're right. And Taylor made. Yeah. So push-ups drops. Okay. And he, what he's attacking. What's he, he is attacking Kendrick Short. Short. Kendrick, his splits. He, he, him and his deal with uh, Top Dog, his, his record label. Uh, they're, they're robbing him on his splits. Okay. All his money. Yep. Um, I think he makes a mention. I think this is a big trigger point is the mention of his wife, Whitney. Yep. Brought up Whitney. I think that's, and look, I, Drake, Drake's been in beef. Yes, right? he has many he's, times. He's, he's battle tested, yeah. right? Yeah. He's been through it a bunch. Yeah. So he should be very well versed in all this stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, like uh, that's why. He's been through some he's dirty gotta, ones. Yeah. He's got to be held to, I mean, he lost the last one. Yeah. With, with Pusha T. With Pusha T. Pusha T revealed. Because Pusha <laughs> Pusha T made him a dad. But would you say Pusha T changed, like, the rap beef evolved no, from Pusha so. T? No? I don't think so, no. By that reveal that now shit has to be revealed for, in mm, order to, to win? Uh, maybe, but I don't think so. I think they're still in beef that that's that's a thing. That's fair. You got to bring up, you bring up shit. You find out shit. You find out shit. You know what I mean? But then is it still about bars? Um, We're in a weird time. Yeah, we're in a weird time. I think this, this is what we got to get, we're going to yeah. get to yeah, at yeah. the end. Okay. Um, so Drake drops push-ups. Yes. Right? Yep. Um, and it's attacking him for these things. And he's using AI for with Snoop Dogg and Tupac's voice. Okay, so this isn't TaylorMade. He drops another one. That's TaylorMade. He drops TaylorMade Freestyle, right. which is using AI now. I don't think I listened to this one. You didn't? No, I don't think so. And look, push-ups was great. Yeah. It was great. Yeah. Had a catchy hook. He did, he, you know, the thing is, Drake does Drake. Yeah. The best. Because he's Drake. Catchy. Drake made a genre. He Drake, made Drake. He's done music. it for twenty years. Yes. Yeah. So he he knows what he's doing with that man. And let me just say, we we haven't mentioned this. With now we can mention it with Drake. There's some allegations of ghostwriting. Yeah, a hundred percent. And that's what one of the disses was with the the Meek Mill shit. With evidence that with like Quentin Miller with yeah, a bunch of people. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like he that came out. Them. It's true. Yeah. Things are true. He's had ghostwriting. And then he says, you know, no, I still write. Like he does his own thing, which right. I believe he probably does both. Right. But I, I, I know he gets help. He for sure gets help. Right. 100%. You know what I mean? Too many so, songs to not. And that weirds me out because it's like, well, now for everything, we have to second guess. Yeah. That's you know? fair. That's totally fair. Yeah. You're right. You're right. Um, and then on, on Taylor Made Freestyle, he's using AI of Snoop Dogg and um, Tupac, which, you know, West Coast, Tupac, Kendrick Lamar. Mm -hmm. That's a big... He's, he's really jabbing at him. It's a creative you know what jab. I mean? yeah. yeah. Very creative jab. Yeah. I think it's a cool idea. I think... It's definitely not. People say it's. How do you, can you summarize your thought about uh, the AI use? Um, I, I guess it's. Uh, I think it. I think it's cheapish a little. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of. It's. I'll say. Look, it's a creative angle to go. Yeah, I wouldn't have thought of um, it. It's putting pressure on Kendrick. It's smart. Yeah, it's like your your heroes are talking to you. That's smart. It's you a good, it's a funny angle. It's definitely it's definitely a good angle to take. Yeah, I don't think it's the same. It's not the same as what Kendrick did with uh, the Tupac interview at the end of Tip Up It Butterfly. No, different. It's not the same. Uh, Kendrick didn't use AI. He used clips. Clips from the and he asked the estate to do it. Yeah, you know, and Drake's getting um. What's it called? Um, sued by yeah. the Tupac estate yeah. because of this. And he had to take it down. Yeah. So, it's kind of an L for him because he's losing money. And, uh, you know. Um, so, that that happens. And then everyone's waiting on Kendrick. Because now Kendrick's not, that's right. Kendrick's that's not right. answering. And everyone's right. like, oh, people are doubting Kendrick now. Like, he's never going to respond. That's right. I think it takes him um, a week later. Over a week later on April 30th. I think it was about two weeks yeah. later. Yeah. Almost. He responds with Euphoria, which is like a six minute, just, I, it's, it's a six minute, I, I can't not be biased about it. That's fair. Because it's, it's kind of like a lyrical 
masterpiece. It's right, great. Right. It's a great song, like dismantling um, Drake. He's calling him like a scam artist. Creative title, he's, creative angle. Yeah, he's saying he's like a manipulator. He's like, he's saying I could test your every move. He's kind of, this is all still like kind of warm ups to, to, to people are saying dropping bombs. Like it's usually what, like what, I think it, to what you were saying is like, you have to have something against this guy, which right. it makes sense. Like you want to have like kind of like a punch, right? you know, like, like a, you're you setting up scare something them off. to yeah. a punch. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's what kind of pushed T did with, you know, that's it. He kind of just shut him down. Uh, but you know I, what I mean, I think because of the push a T thing, we're here. Mm. I think this is like, this that is why be, this that's, evolved. That's kind of valid. That's kind of valid. Cause everyone's saying was like, what's the bomb? Like, where's the bomb at? You know, like they're both kind of like warming up and setting things up. Um, yeah. To something, you know, so they keep going. Um, and then after this, everyone's like, holy shit. Kendrick so he's just calling him this. a liar in this, in this euphoria yeah. song. That's a big, that's a and big takeaway. There's, there's a lot, there's a lot to that too. And he's saying, you know, like you're, you're disrespecting like Tupac, you're doing all this stuff. Right. You bought a ring, right. you bought his ring. You're, 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 I don't know. You're, you're a liar. You're a liar. You're a liar. Like I yeah, say, yeah, you're calling a liar. Him a liar. Um, and then everyone's like, holy shit, this track came out. Like, this is crazy. And everyone's on it. Yeah. Everyone's going nuts. Yeah. So now it's like, holy shit, now, now we're in it. We're yeah. for, for real, we're in it. This is a, this is you a know, there's a response yeah. and it's happening. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, and now Kendrick drops again. Yes. Again with 616 in LA. In the morning of May 3rd. And just, and, and this is another problem with like the social media aspect of it. Dude, everyone is decoding <laughs> everything. But that's what they want. I know. They want and, us to And the that. problem is Kendrick is like the master of it. Yeah. But he sets hold up on. a million of them. 100%. And Drake has two, which I want to get a to. A little bit. I want to get to that. I one. wouldn't say as much as Kendrick. In the in the bars? Oh, no, no, I'm, I'm talking about set up fully. Like we step No, I'm talking about in the bars. No, that's different. Kendrick, oh, dude. Kendrick is- Because also Drake said like, I want like- He's, he's going to come up with quintuple yeah, entendres. And he will. Like, he yeah, will. that's going to be him. That's his thing. Which I've never seen in history be like- He's gonna rap <laughs> in a beef. Yeah. Oh man, he's gonna he's gonna rap, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh yeah, like well, I'm not scared. Yeah, yeah. It's like okay, bet. Let me rap. So he drops him a couple dozen quintuple and yeah, yep, yep. And people decode it for days after. Let me say. Yep. You know, people are still decoding things. Um, and this song is going against like Drake's label, the yeah. people he has on it. Saying, he's basically saying. That he has like a mole. He knows someone in there. Now this is big. That's setting him up. I think this is big. He says, I got people telling me things. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like what if what if your what if OVO works for me, man? Yeah. Like what if I know some things? Yeah. Like what maybe look around. Do you see, believe see who's around you? Do you believe in his heart, Kendrick feels right now like I've got everything he thinks he like he doesn't think I know what's going on. I know everything that's going on. Do you think he believes that right at this at point? At this point? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, me too. I think he for sure thinks that. Me too. Um, and he's basically just saying, Drake, you should die. It, which is? Like, Drake, you're nuts. you're just a terrible, terrible person. This is where... Can you I should say, probably just die. Can I say this? Uh-huh. This is where it crossed the line for me. Nah, dude. For me, it did. For, for me, rap for, battles? No. For me, it did. No. For me, it did. For me, it did. Well, that's because, you know, you're soft. <laughs> I'm a, this is rap battles, dude. No, I, I know. We're I'm lying. Just, I'm just it's speaking, all about lies. I'm just speaking my my. my I, truth. I get you. I get I'm you. I'm speaking my truth. Like you would never want. This J, is what it, you would never Jake, want Jake Cole to be like. You're gonna. You better. You, I, you, no. should, you should die. Yeah. Bro. I just. I wouldn't. I'd be You'd like, be better off in a grave. I'd be like Jake Cole. What? Yeah. If Jake Cole said, I'd be like, what? That's weak. I don't. I don't like that. Okay. And then Drake drops Family Matters. Um, and this is like quick. This is all within that hours. Things are happening. <laughs> For, you know so mean? when this came out, yeah, when I heard the song and the three different tempos and, yes. and what he did in the video and all this stuff, this, so was, four, this, was, this was 14 hours after Which 616 is, and L. And 616 and L had a cover photo that's right. of a glove. A Maybach glove. A Maybach glove. Yes. So it was a hint. Yes. At all this information. That and no one had. knew what it was. People were like, is this the Michael Jackson glove? Right. What, is, what is going OJ on glove, here? OJ. On? Yeah, yeah. All these things. 14 hours later, Drake follows up with the, the diss track Family Matters, night of May 3rd. Now he's talking about now in this yeah what does he break he down? goes at not only Kendrick he goes yes. at all of the ASAP Rocky yes. this is Rick Ross. The, the Rick Ross the the uh, what does he call him Abel the the weekend yes 
and he's trying to dismantle their credibility as long as Kendrick's. Um, now, do you think? As well as do you think he should have just gone at Kendrick alone? I don't. Really, I don't. Why? Because he's had so many people attacking. Even him. if he went on on um on pushups, he went up on all of them. He went on all of them. I think he did it in even a better way this time. Uh, this to me was at, until anything, pro- everything prior really? to it. For me, everything prior to it, when I heard this, I said, this sounds like, and the way he structured this, this is a bop to me. I am like fully invested in this beef after this. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't think he lyrically outmaneuvered Kendrick No, Lamar. I think he's got a good song. Like, yeah, he, I no, think he good. made a good song. He's got good angles. An awesome he's doing concept. good things. And he's the craziest thing. To me, yeah. Which is so... It's shitty to say, but it's such a Drake thing to do, mm-hmm. is to try to reel Kendrick into this like chess move, yeah. where he's like planting images of his daughter that Kendrick's about to bring out in the in the little corner. That's not true, though. Is it not true? No. Okay. If it, if it was, I'd be insane. But like alluding to- This, this is the problem. There's like people making, al- like ac- accusing things and like yeah. saying things are fact yeah. when they're not. Yeah. You know? Well, crushing the, the, I thought it was an excellent idea, crushing the thing, then taking the the restaurant that Kendrick references in Euphoria and then going yeah. to the restaurant, eating the exact meal and like all that stuff. Yeah. I thought it was pretty hip hop and pretty fucking fantastic. I guess. Yeah. To me, to me. Yeah. It's something that resonated with me. Now. And this, this I think was the bomb that people were saying that I thought Drake this had. is, this is as great as Drake can get. Yeah. This is the cap. And for, what, for Drake. The, what Drake was kind of saying, in the video, he crushes the new good kid mad city van yeah he's and like this was a setup thing so you could tell this was something he had in the bank this is his euphoria yes right because kendrick took that time to develop the euphoria uh no i don't don't think so you don't think so no i think euphoria he did like it wasn't set up it wasn't set up no yeah he he definitely he he took all that time and like i think crafted like a bunch of songs right you know because i think this is this was the one where he knew drake had this Uh uh-huh because there was um, in the next track, he mentioned certain things, and he knew so he knew the song was, was coming. coming. That's right. Because this, he had a direct answer to this. Right. right you know what I mean? Right. right. And that's, was, that's meet the Grams. But I want to say on on okay. Family Matters, what he Drake is basically attacking Kendrick for now is abusing his wife. That's right. Being that was his a wife. Huge one. That was a huge one. And let me just say, um, I think that's not really. It doesn't. It doesn't make sense to me. Okay. Because. I feel like all the things Drake is attacking Kendrick for are things that Kendrick has already addressed and like brought up himself in his music. Right. And I think you kind of have to take that into account. Okay. You know, like if he's mentioning things about like, you know, your album and things that happened that you said, like, we got to go back and look at that. And he mentions like, we his kid say. in this one too, right? Yes. The, the, the alleged, this is yeah, your, saying that your, your homies, your label, the label owner that he works with now you know, had his, his kid. Right, yeah. Right, right. You know right, what I mean? Right. And he's making these out. And, and before on Euphoria, Kendrick said, I can, like, I know every step you're taking. Yeah. He pre- he's predicting. He's like, right. you don't even know what I know. Right. And you don't know that I have shit in the back. Right. So be careful. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And he's saying like, look around, dude, you got people that are lying about you. Yeah. And no one wants to be around you. People hate you. Right. Um, That's so what Drake's, Drake's, you know, attacking Kendrick in that way. Right. Um, now we get to, boom. Meet the I think it's literally it was like 15 minutes after Family Matters comes out, <laughs> which is Drake's bomb. Crazy. I know his thing he set up. This is one of the best chess. Like moves he had Drake had a video for this. this you I'm, know what I mean? I'm like saying. all this stuff. This is one of the best chess moves of the entire battle. 15 and, minutes and even later. an even greater chess move is Kendrick dropping Meet the Grams. That's what I'm saying. 15 minutes after. That's what the move was oh, okay. for me. Yeah. So 15 minutes after Family you Matters, kill the steam. The momentum of everything that Family Matters could have been because it's a great fucking. It's, it's it got was great, excellent. If angles, that lived, bars on everything, if that on there. lived for two days, yes, they weren't talking a different yes. thing. Yes, but yeah, continue. Hundred percent. Meet the Grams. Now, now we're minutes. now we're going back to back, dude. We're opening up that now image, we're right? Back. We you see the glove. Back to back. I like that record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go back to that for the record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're back, baby. <laughs> yeah. So the image it zooms out. Yes. We see the glove. Now we see Ozempic bottles. Yes. Receipts for jewelry. Yes. Um, um, the shirt, the the vintage yeah. T-shirt. It's all claiming to be from the Drake's glove, yeah. dad's suitcase. Continue. Yes. Now I'll meet the Grams. Kendrick basically becomes a horror villain. <laughs> oh my god! On the scariest beat on earth. So scary. And is 
basically starts off by talking to his son yeah. about how bad your dad is and he, he's not there for you. So, let me be your mentor and let me let me take you in and I'll show you how to be a real black man. Because oh. your dad knows nothing about that. Oh. Um, all right. Now, let me talk to your mom. I am, your, your, your son's a real bad guy. Like he, knows, he does really weird things. He's, he's really creepy. Like, man, what happened with your dad? Like, mm. what happened with your husband? Mm. Oh, there you are, dad. Hey, mom, sit down here. Like... It gets it gets pretty bad. It's bad. He says he's telling his dad, you know, you raised a terrible person. Like he does freaky stuff. Mm-hmm. Hey, he he messes around with underage girls. He's up <sighs> claiming he's a pedophile. he's a pedo. Huge claim. I don't even know if we could say it on YouTube. But I he's know a pedo. I definitely got. And this goes on for six minutes, and then he talks straight to Drake, um, and says that you have a daughter. Mm. Now the last beef, and uh, this tra- this. Uh, beef that happened was between Kendrick, I mean Drake and Pusha T. Yeah, and Pusha, Pusha T's T big T thing is reveals. he revealed he has a, a son. Right, and it was true. True, and he was trying. And let's not. Drake was trying to use an Adidas press run to announce his son to the world, <sighs> which is weird. Weird, strange. Yeah. So now we're here again. Hey Drake, it's round two. Don't do that. It's round two. Yeah. Like you have another kid you're hiding. Yeah. And they're eleven. Yeah. What's going on over here? And it's a girl. And it's a girl um, that Drake, you know, just Alleg- allegedly, allegedly. Yeah. Now, and Kendrick just keeps going on. He's a pedophile, blah, 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 all this stuff. <laughs> very light things. No, no, no. So, so, so can very we, light. How do you feel about the claim of that? Look, let's, let, let, let's, let's just keep going. Let's okay, keep okay, going. okay. Okay. Let's okay. Keep going. Okay. Okay. We can talk about that after because it's heavy allegations, man. May 4th. May 4th. Next day. Kendrick next day drops again doesn't Not even like let us. kendrick no doesn't word like, from drake no word. drake you know what drake does he puts an instagram stories yeah. of him going like that like happen. a meme yeah, he's like whoa that. like show me my daughter like where is she yeah, yeah i'll yeah. give you money yeah and then uh he messages like academics which is like this guy that reacts to hip-hop culture and he's like going he rides for drake super hard and he's trying to you know he's reacting to all the drops and everything yeah, live yeah. you know and everyone kind of goes to him for the reactions um and drake says Yo, show, like, tell, like, how am I a pedophile? Like, you know, he's telling him, he's like, I'm not a pedophile. Like, how am I going to be a pedophile? You know what I mean? Like, who, who like, give me some receipts. Give me some proof. Big you claim. know what I mean? Big which is on the both sides. Like this, you're throwing out things, which is beef. You hit your wife. It's, it's beef is you throw out allegations yeah. and no one really has proof. Right. And once you have proof, you win. Right. You know what I mean? Right. So I guess so. I feel like that's what the battle is. It's like, you need to have proof or something. I guess. You yeah, know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Kendrick, so Kendrick not like comes us back. gets dropped. Can I just say? And this is this is on May fourth, and the last one was it, what it was May third. May third. Yes. So it was a day later. Kendrick doubles down. This one to me. Yes. I'm just glad these two songs came out. Not like us and Family Matters to me. I'm just glad that this music exists in the world because yes. he made a bop. Yes. He made a bop. Not like us drops, and Kendrick is on a DJ Mustard beat. Yeah. West Coast as hell. Yep. Super partying tap dancing on this was his bomb and 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 after meet the grams everyone is riding for kendrick yeah because they're like holy shit this guy and then he drops this again yeah with a celebratory like hey we got this in the bag we got it and he doubles that triples down actually yeah about him being a a pedo yeah yeah um and now he starts i like that he started naming people Mm. he's naming everyone because he said your whole camp is full of like People that have cases, assaulters, right, 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 right. people that are paid off. It's the like, what's image, going on over the there? Image all the yeah, like, what, the what are all these people right. you're around? Why are you keeping them all around? And you have kids around them? Like, what are you doing, bro? Yeah, yeah. Keep your kids you know? away. Click, tell them the LeBrons to keep their kids yes. away. LeBron's family to keep your kids yes. away. Curry's family to keep your kids yes. away. So now I'm not like us. He starts naming all the people. Right. Um, Like, by name now. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And and calling them out. And a lot of these things are true. You know what I mean? Um, like these people have controversial they have cases. problems. Right. Especially the Baca one is very weird. Drake basically bailed out his guy. This was the first thing that kind of that Kendrick kind of accuses. Like what he bailed out. You ever, you ever bail out someone? Like on your four, you said you ever bail out someone for five hundred K? Oh I did boy. that. Oh boy. Because Baca had like a whole trafficking Ooh. case with like a like human trafficking, Ooh. like sex trafficking. Did he did he? Kinda, yeah. <laughs> and then he and, and the case magically went away and he wasn't charged of anything yes and drake paid off that's shady so that's shady there's weird stuff going on that's shady and drake's basically you know has not responded and uh kendrick is tap dancing and making literally makes a bop about about him being a pedo yeah yeah yeah. um and it's an amazing song yes and it's fun i'm I'm dancing all day it's fun to jam to oh v ho they not like us oh v ho they not like us 
Now, May 5th, the next day. Yep. yep. Yesterday. Drake. Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo. Drake drops The Heart Heart Part Part 6, which is a direct jab at Kendrick's whole series, The Heart Series. Yep. Where it's an hour, 20 minutes in. (laughs) We gotta go. It's fine. Um, So, Drake... Makes fun of Kendrick's series. He said, "Okay, I'm gonna do the, I'm gonna do what you do yep. on the on your heart series, yep. which is like one of the greatest things that Kendrick does. The heart series. Listen to all of them; they're amazing. Yep. Um, and he basically is doing what he does on the heart series. Yeah. He's talking. He's mm-hmm. talking introspectively about everything going on. Mm-hmm. Um, and he's basically saying, "I'm not, you know, I'm not a." I don't, how can I describe it? I'm not a pedo. I def- he defends himself. He defends himself. Yeah, it's yeah. a it's a defense. Right. I'm it's, not a pedo. I would have been caught. I'm too rich for that. Yep. Um, I lured you into have the mole thing. Yep. That's a big one for me. That's a big one. We, we'll, we'll get into that. Yeah. He's saying that, oh, I get it. Like, you're doing this because you were molested. And he claims now. Yeah. I understand this all makes sense. Yes. Oh, yeah, I get it. As a kid, you must have been molested. That's why. From, from your song that you made on your last album. Right. Oh, you talked about being molested as a kid. Right. Oh, so oh, oh, it's all adding up now. The, this connection is You're about the guy, to get dude. so depressing. This is trauma from your own confessions. Yeah. Which is... I, and Which is victim blamey. Fucked. It's victim blamey. Which, But you can say, look, Kendrick went there. He can go there too. <sighs> you can say that. I think this is still like... And even like, it's it's very, I think even more fucked up because he twists the actual meaning of the song, Mother mm. I Sober. Mm. He twists mm. the meaning because Kendrick doesn't say that he got molested. He said his mom got molested and he, she was putting that onto him. And Kendrick was saying, I never got molested. He didn't do anything to me. And her trauma, because of her trauma, he was she was putting that onto Kendrick mm. that you got molested. Mm. But that's not the point. Of, like That was the point of the song. So Drake... He He's basically twisting what he didn't listen in his songs, right? which I think I don't know if he did that on purpose. I'm sure, but he did. I'm sure he did it on purpose. But this is a battle. I think the especially on this track. How do you feel about the track? Let me ask you. Uh, it sounds like he made it on his phone the night after. Yeah, uh, 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 they not like us came. Yeah, um, because he had to. He, yeah. I think he had to. He has to. He has to get something out there because this this is too not like us is too good of a, of a song yeah. to not to not do something in response yeah. um they say in a, in a rap battle you're not supposed to go on the defense he does yeah um it shows weakness it shows like you're trying to if you're if you're and defending, Drake basically said like i'm i'm out of this kind of in a way he's what i i take from the listen the first time i listened to it was uh he sounds exhausted to even be talking about what ifs and possibilities yeah. he's saying Drake, by the end took of it, it too far can, can we talk about the facts? And yeah. then the, the song ends. Like, yeah. call me when you're ready to talk and about facts. Let me just say that thing he did at the end where he's just like, huh, shit, man. <laughs> yeah, I didn't like that at all. Man, like, I'm all facts, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah the, <laughs> I want to talk about the but facts. But that's Drake. We're talking about Mr. Mr. I'm going on vacation. We're talking about Mr. Mr. Sexy, you know, like, trendy. <sighs> let me just say, dude, that shit sounded terrible. Yeah, man. I agree. That man. Cringy, bad. cringy. Okay, I want to... For, I want the thing I, that you want to get into. I want to get to at the end. Okay. Because I have an idea about that. Okay. Um, I think big mistake in the song. I think there were cool lines in here. Yeah. Like slick lines. The Millie Bobby Brown thing. What time is it, by the way? Give me a time. I don't like know. world time. Oh. Like time of the day. Six thirty-three. Okay, we're good. Okay. Um. Kendrick, the the now Millie there's Bobby a couple Brown. things that the Millie Bobby Brown line is is great. He said, I only like I only mess with Whitney's, no Millie Bobby Browns, which Whitney Houston, Bobby Brown. It's genius. It's a great bar. Yeah. But I don't is it great enough to to bring up the girl that no one brought up <laughs> and people on my social media call you out for having this weird thing when she was eleven? Do you think it deflates uh it, it I I don't think it's worth the bar. Okay. I don't think it's Fair. worth being like, yeah, everyone says I'm I Talk to Millie Bobby Brown and I te- and like I'm grooming her. You like, know what I'm saying? I'm not doing that, dude. You know what I'm saying? I totally hear what you're saying. And I also there's bars in this. Not, not that aren't even bars. Yeah. There's the, which I think he wasted breath in a lot of the song. Yeah. There's like wasted literal and he, and, bars. And, and, and a lot where of he's talking it, about going to war. I'm a general. And a lot of it, like, he's saying no, you right, which is not anything. It's not smart to do. You can't in a, say in a that. Battle. You, can't you should. Do that. He, he, you. In a fight, he's supposed I, to press forward. You know forward. what really pissed me off when he said, I'm disgusted. 
Yeah. Well, I guess he that's that, that was the song. He's trying to express Bro. like where he's at, I guess. Man, I'm disgusted. He is disgusted. Dude. Yeah, I guess. You're man. talking on a song beat. I'm just trying to like see You're a deadbeat talk you're a deadbeat on a deadbeat. <laughs> Yeah, are, are you in the battle? That's a. I might be. That's a bar right there. I might be. A deadbeat on a deadbeat. Now let's talk about the big thing, the mole thing. Okay. Because people can. You could say this discredits all of Kendrick's things. I don't think the beef's over. By the way, I'm just saying. That I don't think so with this. I don't think no. Drake. That's white flag or anything. I um. Think. But I think the mole thing. Yeah. I think you think that can that Drake got this on him from the photo. Yeah. I don't think he did, because wouldn't you if you caught someone. Put him in a trap. Huh. Would you wait a day? Yes. Why? So you, you no, think no, no. What? So you're gonna let people. You're gonna let the discourse. Yeah. Linger. He drinks a pedo. Yeah. All this stuff. You wouldn't. You wouldn't put a picture or like have pr- f- photo video proof of you catching this guy. What do you mean? A DM like, like a DM of Kendrick accepting the shit or one of his guys accepting. Oh, that'd be that'd be cool. Yeah, maybe, maybe. yeah, but it's like, but this is again, this is some speculation, and a lot like people were saying this on like Twitter, right. like, oh, he he knows he 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 knows he's the mole, like, and he also on his on the, on the song he's saying like, he's like the info the info you got, like the people who gave you the info were clowns, yeah. but you gave him the info, he allowed the info to get, yeah, yeah, so, so it's, it's like, like you're calling your boy your clown. clown, I guess, yeah, maybe that's a, that's a I conflict. think it's very it's a very like Twitter like oh we'll like. See. I, I got you, bro. Maybe that's what's coming. Because he can do that. Maybe that's what's coming. And that's his only really defense he can do. I just think if you... Because there's no proof that he found the mole. He just said it. But the image. What image? The image of the, the bed with the shirt, what about with the shirt and then the Ozempic and all that stuff from, yeah. from Drake's dad's suitcase. How was that proof? It's proof because Kendrick posted it and then took it down. He didn't take it down. What are you saying he took it down? He took it down. When? Off of the, the, the DSPs or whatever the fuck a DSP is off of that... that artwork for that song he took it down i don't think the photo was ever up on there it 100 percent was up and then no, he removed it i don't think it's, so look it up no it wasn't i'm telling you was it yes on when it got it put out the streaming when drake's song came out saying i got you this was a whole fucking job kendrick took it down i don't think so maybach glove for rick ross that was epic this after rick ross was MPV. It does seem a bit of special though especially something it violates the cover art rule. That's what I thought. It's you can't upload like drugs. Pill bottles. And, yeah, with like yeah. the name and everything, you that can't could put be that just, up. That could be just a cover. Like oh, I know. guess so. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. We're gonna see, man. It's also the fact it's like master manipulator. It's like you're manipulating. He, I mean, if that's like if he got him to post that and then take it down, that's a manipulate. That's a he yeah. got him kind of. Anyway, that's where we're. And hey. That was civil. And that was civil, minutes. dude. Look at us. Yeah. yeah. Um, but who's winning? K- Kendrick. Yeah. I think. Until Drake responds with something, Kendrick's winning. All I'm going to say is, they not like us. <laughs> they not like <laughs> us. There it is. Boom. Oh, we hope. No more, no more ads tonight. Oh, we got to got And run. we're never talking about this ever again. <laughs> That's it. You got, you got the scoop. That's it. Even with new shit coming out, we can't talk about it. How are, we, how are we not going to talk I'm about I'm done. It? I know, I'm out. And we're not talking about on the podcast anymore. That's it. We'll talk about it in person. We probably will. But Maybe on Patreon. I want, to say, that, I want to say I like your shirt. It's thanks, a cool shirt. Thank you, man. That's Tyson. On I love that. Thank That's you, sick. Bro. Thank you, man. I want to um, say your shoulders look good. You look fit. Thank good. you, man. Trim. I appreciate nice. that, dude. Damn. Yeah, man. Um, That's it, man. That's I, got, it. I can't. Take us out. Don't say nothing but your outro. My name is Mike and I'm signing My name is Dave. I love you all. Please be kind of yourself. Please be kind of wonderful.